much and um, good evening. How are you at home? And uh, we're going to take a trip down memory lane. Uh, not too far down memory lane, because I'm very young, as you can see. Uh, but I need a volunteer from the audience. Debbie, round of applause. Debbie McGee and our first volunteer. <laughs> Not a nice dress? I haven't seen that one. And what's your name? Wendy. Wendy. Now, Wendy, take a step into the world of show business. This is show business. Or it used to be. These are some of Debbie's cast-offs, you see. She's gone all modern and glitzy and... I don't know that one. I think it's Warhol. And, uh, but here are things we've used in the past that represent other countries. And we've taken the labels off, so you'll be able to pick them. What's this one? This one's Russia, you see. A Russia. Nothing on the back, nothing on the front. Russia. Now, that was from Russia, that outfit. We used it in a little illusionette, as it were. This one is the United States of America. This would be the cowboy outfit. This one, you see, goes with the hat. All right? <laughs> USA. And uh, we've got España, Spain. That's at this end. All right? Or oh, pretty obvious. Uh, sort of a flat sombrero goes down. <laughs> China. Ha, Chung Sam. Beautiful dress, that. Extremely sexy, you know. Are you into clothing and all that, dear? I do. I like fashion. You like fashion? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Any hobbies? Um, I like keep fit and dancing music. Keep fit, dancing and music? Oh, well, I never make a song and dance about keep fit. <laughs> now, there's Hawaii. We put that there. What have we got here? England. England was the milkmaid outfit. So we've got a label for every costume. And we're going to have a costume chosen at random, and it will disappear from here, and it will reappear on Debbie, that's the idea. So would you pull up the, uh, the changing cubicle, you see? Now, she's got her hands full. This is going to be really good if this works. Now, what you do is I mix these up so that you don't know which what is from where, and you take any loop of string you like, OK? Any loop. Pick a loop, any loop. It's a bit like the fairground, isn't it? And just pull, and you should get yourself a label. What have you got? Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay, Hawaii. You've been very helpful. Thank you very much indeed. If you go back to the round of applause to the lovely lady. <laughs> Hawaii. All right. This is Hawaii. This is what we have, Hawaii. So let's take that costume down, and uh, this is called a lay. Yeah. Oh, yes, not what you thought at all. Now, we just fold that over there like that, and I'll need somewhere to, to put this. Good grief, do they really wear these? Hey! <laughs> so, what we'll do is we'll just put it into the sack, like so, and we'll put uh, the lay into the sack as well. So, we've got the grass skirt, we've got the flowers, uh, we haven't got a bra. No bra. You haven't got a bra. <laughs> I'm not doing it. My mama killed me. Just get behind there. We'll do the trick anyway, won't we, fellas? Yes. Say yes, Paul. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm going to do is just grab this like this. Just grab that and pull. And there is Debbie's dress. And uh, would you like to see the end result? <laughs> yeah? All right, Debbie, let's see it. <laughs> Really, Father, I don't think this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I've had my doubts about that lad for a while. <laughs> Not very kind. Um, this is a cute little trick with two uh, Perspex tubes. You can see through them. They are clearly empty, said he, punning. A uh, red box, which you can see is uh, empty, and a white box, which you can see is empty. In fact, you can see both of them, see, alongside each other. No cheating here tonight. <laughs> oh, I should have pointed out, I've got eight red bobbins and eight white bobbins. You haven't. Yes, I have. And I'm going to put them inside one at a time. Now, watch this. There's one, two, keep up with me, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Now, over here, children, we've got the red ones. Are you following this, audience? Say yes, Paul. Yes. Oh, they're following me. Oh, dear, that's serious. <laughs> I, I can't cheat. And over here, we've got the white bobbins. The white ones are in the white box, and the red ones are in the red box. Now, don't forget that, ladies and gentlemen. One red box, one white box. Now, what I'm going to do is take a red one and make it a leader. 
goes in there, you see. And I'm going to take a white one and make it a leader. Now, the name of the game is the bobbins have to follow the leader. Watch carefully. If I swap the boxes over like a so, you will find that now the red ones all leap out of there and go into there. In other words, the red, red robins, bobbins go bob, bob, bobbin along. <sighs> Well, maybe they do. And they do, in fact. There it is. It's in the white box. And over here is a white one in the red box. Isn't that amazing? The audience is stunned. So what I shall do is reverse the order like that. And now the red ones are back in the red box and the white ones are in the white box. Isn't it fantastic? Obviously not. Supposing I swap them over again, but swap, this time swap the columns over. Makes no difference. The white ones still jump over here and the red ones jump over here. If you swap the boxes over, and you can. Once you do that, you can see in here we still have the white bobbin. In here we still have the red bobbin. And now, of course, it makes really no difference. If you don't move them, nothing happens. Look, I'll show you. Over here we have the red bobbin. Over here we have the white bobbin. Nothing happens. Some people, you know, think I cheat. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Some people think I cheat more than that. Anyway, inside here, I've got the white bobbin inside here. Nothing else, by the way, nothing else. Just two white bobbins. All right, pay attention when I'm talking to you. And over here, we've got one red bobbin, uh, two red bobbins, and nothing else. That is very important for you to understand. Now, what I'm going to do now is just take the, these boxes and swap them over like that. And inside here, we have got the white bobbin. And over here, we've got a red bobbin. If we swap them back again, over here, we've got a white bobbin. Over here, we've got the red bobbin. All the whites together, all the reds, all followed the leader, and nothing left. <laughs> Right, now then, ladies and gentlemen, do not go and put the kettle on. Don't make a cup of coffee. You have got to watch this act. They come from Montreal, Canada, and I'm very proud to have them on the show. Vice versa.
you believe in ghosts? Most people have had some friend who's had some kind of experience with a ghost. Whether you believe or not, I think you'll find this story interesting. Some time ago, I was a lot younger, I was working in South Wales. And all my ancestors, you may not know this, my ancestors are Welsh, both on my father's side and my mother's side. So like most people, you get curious about your ancestry. And I started to hunt around for traces of the Daniels family. Well, I traced them back to a place called Maesteg in South Wales. And going through parish records, I found that we had a family vault. So one day, nothing better to do. I wandered down to the family vault. Well, the graveyard sadly was overgrown and a lot of the tombs were in a state of disrepair. And I found that we had not just a tomb, not just a flat slab as you sometimes find in a graveyard, but we had one of those, they look like miniature mansions sometimes, don't they? We had one. And the name of past Daniels were listed on either side of a door and they were carved into the stone with the dates. Very useful if you're tracing your ancestors. But some further curiosity tempted me because the door was hanging off its hinges. So I pulled a bit and shook and cleared some gravel and went inside, very damp, dusty, cobwebs and no coffins. It was completely cleaned out. And at first I thought, well, this, you know, they must have come years ago and moved them someplace else. But I always carry one of those little pen light torches with me, just in my inside pocket. And in shining it around to see if there was any trace of any writing or anything, I found some iron rungs going into a pile of dead leaves that had blown in over the years. Now the iron rungs obviously led below. So I cleared away, cleared away, and I was very lucky because in the corner there was a wooden sort of trap door that had really rotted away, and if I'd stood on it, I'd have gone down. Well, I kicked it and it fell in and I decided I would go and have a look, although I was alone and it was a fairly stupid thing to do if the iron rungs had snapped, but they held good. So with the torch in my teeth, I climbed down, down, down into the darkness and I was grateful for the torch. Shining it round, the coffins were there and they were, they were on sort of um, stone tables stacked up. It's the best, stone shelves. And they were stacked there and again, terrible, terrible state they were in. And as I'm looking round with the torch, I swung round and the inevitable, my hand hit one of these stone tables and I dropped the torch, which must have smashed the bulb, and I was in total pitch black darkness. Well, I don't believe in ghosts, so I wasn't too bad at first, but then I, I'm trying to find the way out and I couldn't see a thing when I heard a noise. And not much of a noise, a scrabbling. It could have been a mouse or worse, a rat. But it was scrabbling around and it was getting louder, or it seemed to me. Imagination takes over at such moments. And, and I was going around the wall, that's a coffin, that's, that's a stone slab. When I felt with a kind of a dull bump, an iron rung. And the relief was enormous. So I felt the length, felt for the next one and started to climb out when suddenly the noise got very loud and I got very frightened, really frightened. And I started to scramble up when something grabbed my leg. Now at that moment, you start to change your mind about whether you believe in ghosts or not. And I started to scramble up and this thing was pulling my leg just as I've been pulling yours for the last few minutes. <laughs> Doesn't time fly when you're having fun, eh? eh? Well, let's find out if it does. Will you please welcome a gentleman from the audience, brought on by Debbie McGee. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the show. All right. Yes, thank you. What's your name? Stuart. Stuart. Yes. Stuart. It's a Scots name. It Stuart. is. Stuart. Yes, yes. Are you Scots? I am, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that accounts for it then. Yes. It was originally. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, we've been talking a while. What time is it? What time is it? It's oh, you've got a watch. It, good, yes. good. No, that's enough. I just want to make sure you had a watch. Yeah. Shockproof, is it? it is. It's old. 
Mm. It's old. Mm. Yes, but is it shockproof? Mm. It has been up till now. All right. Can I uh, have a closer look at it? Yes. Uh, because I think uh, it's an interesting watch. Mm -hmm. It is old, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Beauty, that. That's real nice. Did it mean, you know, anything special to you? Yes, my mum bought me that for my oh. 21st birthday. 21st birthday? Oh, it, yeah, is old. it is old. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Now then, any hobbies? Uh, yes, I uh, cycle and play golf. S cycle and play golf? Mm, not wow. at the same time. No, of course not. No, otherwise that would be polo, <laughs> yes, wouldn't it? it yes. Would. yes. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to test its shockproof ability. All right. Just mm -hmm. stand aside, sir. Stand aside. I have got here a wee box into which I'm going to place your your watch. All right. And I'm going to also. Um, oh, I'll tell you what else. We will test it with Debbie. Have you got something we can test this with? Good. Now, have you ever seen one of these before? No? These are called detonators. <laughs> All right. And this is called the fuse, and that is called the explosive. Mm -hmm. OK? Now, what I want you to do is take those and light this yourself. Mm -hmm. and then, of course, the responsibility lies with you. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Beautifully done. Now, once you've lit that... Oh, jeepers. Oh, hey, it's a real one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this was supposed to be a gag. Um, right, uh, what I'll do... <laughs> God, that's bright. I'm just going to put that in there, shove that, fasten that... Back off, back off, back off, back off. Oh, watch is in there. Yeah, your watch is, is in the box. Don't... Oh, that's great. That's good. <laughs> oh. um... <laughs> to me. Well, it doesn't look shockproof to me, mate. <laughs> Uh, you're shaking. Never mind. Uh, just sit down and relax, sir. Uh, sit down and relax. I realise what a shock that must have been. Yes. 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 Debbie will take the matches. Um, what a shame. Mm. Yes. Watch blew up. <laughs> Kept good time. Yeah. <laughs> Kept good time to the end. Yes. <laughs> but blew up is the word. Yes. Blew up yes. is the word. You see, up yes. is where it went. It boom, up. If I can just take this thing here, you see, and just show you this like that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Little box like that. Now, Debbie, can I have a, a table to put this on? Thank you. And uh, we'll just show you this because uh, I think you'll like this. Not a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but you'll like it. Now, if we just undo the clip <laughs> on here, like that, unbelievably, underneath here, we've got a surprise for you. Can I just move this out there? Look at this, eh? What could be in a box like this? <laughs> well, let me show you. This is the box. Bit big, isn't it, for a watch? Bit big. So we'll untie it. What we'll do is we'll untie that like that, see? And inside here, get hold of that, Debbie, we've got another box. Now, if I can just take this box out of here like that and get it out... Oh, dear. It is heavy, Deb. Could you put that lid on and just give me a, another... Table. Have you got another table? Yep, I've got yeah? another table. Right. So, what we'll, we'll do is we'll put this one on a table. As you can see, under it and round it and all over it, more or less. Kind of... Oh, thanks, Deb. That's great. Yeah. Now, let's have a look in here. Let's see what we've got in here. Pretty box. It is a beautiful mm. box, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's a, probably a present for our friend there who's Stuart, Stuart you know. Yes. Scottish. He's Scottish, yes. Yeah, lost the watch. Okay, yeah. Pardon? Okay, and da 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 things like that. <laughs> It's yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they eat haggis, you know. Yes. I, have you been eating something strict? There's another box in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get a table. All right. Get another table. Then. Now, if I just take this out of here, like that, and we put this on there. I was just thinking about that, Debbie. Was, when he started, he was more of a TikTok eye. <laughs> oh, well done. Uh, uh, stupid joke, eh? Yeah. Well, you started it. Now, if we take this out... Oh, yeah. look, there's another box. Another box. I'll another, get another table. table. Right, we'll just get another table, all right? Yeah. This will probably exhaust the entire stock of tables at the BBC. But if I just take that box... Do you box think they'll out... want me on record breakers for bringing in tables? Yes, yes, yes. I want you on record breakers, yes. Any programme but this one. <laughs> now, if we just go in here... what? Have... There's another box. Oh, yeah, I another table. Yes, yeah, yes, go on, get table. off another. That's it. Now, if we just take this one out of it. Oh, this is a cutesy little box. A real cutesy. This is a little yellow box. And if you. Darling, hi. <laughs> it's the wrong. Oh, well, I'll I've done go to you. Running. All right, I'll come to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm keeping this in full view all the time this because is my this is not, is it? Yeah. Well, this box. Yep. 
was in that box, which was in that one, that one, and that one, see? And if I untie it like this, mm -hmm. should be able to do that. Would you yeah. just hold the, the ribbon the for ribbon me while here. we just open uh, this up? Because inside here, yes, look, there is <laughs> another box. I'll just put that down there. Another box, another Pretty table. Box. Another table? No, I've said we've got no tables. Ah. OK, don't panic. Nobody panic. Fortunately, it just so happens, I ha here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> right. There we are, a table. And now, sir, there is a little box. I'm going to pick it up, look under it, look round it. Are there any secret passageways into it? No? No. Untie the ribbon on there. Lift the lid of the box. And inside there you'll find a watch that looks vaguely familiar to you. Yes? yes. Is it your watch? It is my watch. It is. You may take the box Thank away for further examination. Thank you very much for taking part in the trick. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank, how you. Are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I find that trick more amazing than you, and you probably don't know why. Well, I'll tell you why. You see, the reason I find it more amazing than you do is that inside the box, if I can just take this lid off here, you see, inside this box, there's lots and lots of watches, you see. I mean, from <laughs> previous experience, you know, people have obviously been lending me watches for a long time and not getting them back. As you can see, there's lots of watches. The other thing that I, I find strange is that the other box, if you go to the other end, if you remember that box was in this box, I don't see how that could have been in this box, because in this box, not only have I got a couple of these, which are uh, hunter-type watches, which I shall put down on there, I think, for now, um, but I've also got in here a very nice, and I'm sure you'll appreciate this, if I can just get it out to show you, um, a mantle clock, you see, which is really nice. And I don't see how that blue box could have been in this box, because in this box we have got um, the occasional hunter, as you can see, not just the occasional hunter, I've got loads and loads and loads of them. I mean, how many watches can you get in one box? Well, that's, of course, not the only thing, because have you seen those cute, very modern uh, clocks that they've got on mantles nowadays? They, 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 they're very nice. It's a line of, line of clocks that are, are quite incredible, really, if you, if you just um, look at them. They're, they're really quite cute, and uh, we'll just put one in front of there, I think. And, and of course, they come in a range of colours. You can have uh, uh, red ones, you can have this lovely range of bluey, silvery ones. You can have, over here, we've got uh, a go another gold one. They really are quite nice, and we just put them all on there for you. Of course, uh, some people prefer them black, depends on the, uh, oh, it's that way up. We just put it over there, and now we've got another one over here, which, as I say, you can see all the way around. And the bit that I really don't understand is how that box could have been in this box, because in this box, which I'll have to tip up to get this out, is, 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 oh, cool, is, um, a carriage clock that um, <laughs> is quite extraordinary. And, and the reason that that couldn't possibly have been in here is because in this one, we have our early morning starter with, uh, here they go, alarm clocks. I lied when I said we didn't have any more tables. I know that. Yeah. I put these on the table, sweetheart. I've got loads and loads and loads and there's another one for you and 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 just to put time on the man's face there you go Once in a gambling club, I did this, and one of the cheaters, one of the card shops, became a little angry. So he took my deck and start with a very aggressive uh, card uh, handling. He shuffled the cards, very uh, rough, yeah. rude, brutal, right? That's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> some of them don't talk, and some You're of them. You're doing don't a great talk. impression of a nasty man. Yeah. <laughs> 
Then he told I me. I think I know him. <laughs> then he told me, OK, wise guy, he said to me. Arran then he cut the leg. That was the hard part. Arranged the card in order, right? Well, I told him I will do my best, but it's, this was a challenge. So I thought, now I must beat him in a way. It's too easy, I, I told him, to, to, to arrange them uh, this way. So I will do it blindfolded. And actually, I'm very nearsighted. So I took my glasses and, and threw them away. <laughs> then I took the, the laser, you know. <laughs> because I'm a perfectionist. Of course, yes. Yeah. I'm over here. <laughs> now, ace of spades. Ace of spades, yeah. Oh, I forgot I can't see. Correct? Yes, that's the ace of spades. Yeah. Two of spades. No. Yeah. Yeah, two, two. of spades. Yeah. Uh, three. Uh -huh. Right, but not of spades, sorry. No, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's better, yeah. That's... Four, four of spades. Yeah. Five. Well, that was difficult. Five, five of spades, yes, five correct. Five of spades, correct. Six. Yes, yeah, six. If you wish, I can do it more elegant. If you, is no, this, this is elegant. Too, no, yeah. I can do it. Uh, this is too sloppy, maybe. Yeah. yeah I can. That's sloppy. Six, huh? six of spades, seven of spades. Queen. Ah. Oh, this if, is the king. Yeah, the king, sorry. If I take a king of clubs, then I say, yeah, good. Seven of. Uh, <laughs> That's better. That's better. Yeah. Seven of spades. And. Uh, Eight of spades. Yeah. Good. Nine. Yeah, that's the nine. Good. Go. <coughs> ten. Yeah, thank you. Yes, that's the ten. Right? Yeah. Uh, jack. Ten and jack. Yes, that's the jack. <laughs> Queen. Ah, I did the, the other round more, you know. Then the king after exactly three seconds. Right? Three. That's three. One, two, two and three. Whoa. <laughs> if, if I miss that king, I take uh, the king of clubs. Or if I miss king of clubs, I take king of hearts. And so on. Right? Yeah. Well, of and course you do. Yeah. The yeah. rest of the cards is in. Uh, yeah, I look like this. <laughs> they are in uh, numerical order. No, not in numerical. No, they I are mean, mixed up. They are mixed up, but yeah. you can find lots of combination here. For example, um, the square root of uh, pi, <laughs> the speed of light. Yeah, if you if you if you look, see. But they're all there. Yeah. Not necessarily in the right order, but they are all there. Yeah, yeah and you yeah. can, and everyone here is uh, in in a way. Um, uh, represented in the deck. For example, when are you... No, we can take your phone number. Do you have a secret phone number? You're not giving my phone number out on here. Right. What? Correct. Yes, yeah. good, yeah. Or do you have a more uh, pu public phone number? A public phone number? Uh, yeah, my fan club has a phone number. Ah. Uh, 0908. 0908. It begins? Zero? Zero nine. Zero. And nine. Yeah. And zero. Yes, zero, eight. Oh, there's eight. This eight, yeah, yeah. And then? Uh, three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah. And then? Three, two, one. Three, two, <laughs> one. And here's your bank account. That's my bank account. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, here. Your bank, his bank account. Yeah, don't show that. Yeah. No, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Passport number, yeah. <laughs> uh, the number of your drive license yeah. and your wife, and you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, what a nice audience. Right.
Well, I don't know whether you'll keep clapping in a second or two because I'm going to ask you now to take out, if you've got any paper money, take out all your paper money. Take out the biggest notes you've got. We want fives, tens, twenties, fifties. Take them out. Come on, dive in, dive in, dive in. And what you do then is, having dived in, ooh, look at the lightning here, out straight away. <laughs> and what you do is you, you then fold your money in half lengthways so that it's all sort of, the, with the numbers inside, all right? That's the idea. Fold them in half lengthways with the numbers inside and then hold it up in the air. That's vital, okay? Yeah, that's the idea. Like this, like this. This is perfect, all right? Now, what I want you to do, Mrs. Woman next to you, is, is stand up. Now, stand up. What are you holding? A 20 pound note. Okay, put yours away. Good, eh? Yeah. Happy. Uh, right. Hands up only those who are holding a fiver. All right? All right. Now, keep your hands up if you've got a fiver. Right, now, pick any fiver. The, this, this blue shirt, yep. denim shirt, okay. Right, will you just do me a favour? There's an envelope, okay, you can have a look inside it. But put your fibre in deep, and it's a self-seal, just seal it up, all right? Seal it up. Now, all the fibres, put your hands down. Right. Now, hands up if you've got tenors. Right, oh, good, got tenors. And uh, would you stand up and just pick any tenor from around anywhere at all, any tenor at all, that any one. tenor? Pardon? That one. That one, lady there, all righty, there's for you, Mrs. Woman, there's an envelope for you. Would you just put your tenor inside there and seal it down? All the tenors, put your hands down. Right, now we want a 20, have we got a 20 anywhere? Would you just pick any 20 from around? There's one over there, one there, one there, one there. This one over here, all right, there's an envelope. Would you just put the 20 inside the envelope and seal it down? That's what I want you to do. And now, uh, all the 20s, put your money down. Any 50s? And what are 50s? Any 50s? <laughs> any 50s? <laughs> right, right, would you just pick any 50? <laughs> that one, yeah, there's only one show up. Right, sir, there's an envelope for you, tuck it in deep, tuck it in deep, and just seal the envelope down. Right, now what we're going to do, is uh, give me the, the f what was yours? Right, okay, give it here, the five, give me the, uh, the, the ten or the two, I can't remember what it was now, doesn't matter. Uh, thank you, and would, uh, you've got yours, all right, and money bags next to you, thank you very much. <laughs> now then, what I want, um, let's pick uh, a lady here in the front row, very good, all right, we'll pick you. Yes, you, the ones sure. thinking, oh, please don't pick me. Yes, you, right. Now, there they are, the four envelopes. What I want you to do is just mix them up like that so that, you know, even if you'd been looking around, you wouldn't know which is which. Give me an envelope. All right, fine. It's your choice, yeah? Give me another one. All right, what's going to happen is you're going to finish up with one. What's your name? Shirley. Shirley, all right, you give me another one. Okay, are you happy with all of that? Mm -hmm. You've left yourself with an envelope. Do you want to swap it for any of the others? All right? I don't mind, because it's not my money. <laughs> okay, so what you've got there, you've got an envelope, yes? Mm -hmm. You're happy yeah. with it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You don't want to change it? No. All right, Debbie? It's up to you. I think the note in that envelope is a ten-pound note. And I, I think the serial number starts with a D. Followed by a number, 78. Followed by another number, 5, 7, Two, a four, another four, and a three. I think it's the serial number on a ten pound note is D seventy eight five seven two four four three. Debbie's a long way away, can't see the envelopes, can't see us, you know, in any great detail. Spotlights in her eyes. So, and uh, to the other people, I promise you, you will get your money back in a minute when we've checked this. Um, but uh, what I'm going to ask Shirley to do is just to cut the envelope open using the, the scissors there. Just cut it open yourself. All right. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, they do cut, yeah. <laughs> it's just that they're plastic ones, so I don't cut my fingers, and neither does Shirley. Now, no, no, no. Open the envelope yourself. Just reach inside. Oh, you can't get the scissors off, right? Reach inside the envelope, okay? And take out what... Tell us what's inside. Just reach inside there. Take out... Anything else in there? No, no. No IOUs? No? Well, I didn't put it in. You, somebody else put it in. No. Okay. Whose was the... T whose was the... What is it? £10. It is a £10 note. First part, whose was the £10 note? Your £10 note. OK. Now, Shirley, it's very important, because you haven't got a microphone on, read that number out very loudly, the serial number, on this uh, tenor that you took out. D78572443. Same number. <laughs> puzzle time. If you remember last week's puzzle, all you had to do was take a drink out of that glass. Okay, the only thing was you're not allowed to use your hands and that one was on top of it. Now, what's your name, my dear? Susie. Together we look really colourful, don't we? Yeah, really. Where are you from, Susie? Switzerland. Now, you have to have a drink, but no using the hands. Puzzle, huh? Yep. Yeah, a big mm. puzzle. And what we did was we left it over from last week for people to solve it. And today, we brought it in for me to do. And um, then we realised I'm wearing a silk shirt and a silk tie and I couldn't do it. So one of our cameramen apparently had read this in a 1951 magazine. And he can do it. So I'm going to pull him off camera six and uh, get him out here. Round of applause for our, <laughs> one of our cameramen. <laughs> You can, you can do it off the seat if you want. Now, I've got to warn you, you've got to grip it with your teeth, all right? Don't break it, all right? I don't want to... Now, the, see, this is the trick. This is the trick, folks. That's it. Yes, will perspiration be his downcoming? Will I make him laugh? <laughs> now, you've got to grip it like that. That's the first stage. And now, you've got to go down. <laughs> Look at this hand going under here in case he drops the glass. I'll make him, I'll, I'll make him drop it. Right. And you've got to get all of it like that. This is your teeth. OK. And then, up it goes, up it goes, up it goes. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Grip it with your teeth. Tip, cheek, cheek. Whole body going back. That's it, that's it. And he slopped it up and got a drink out of it. Very clever technique. That's the idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not touching that with his hand. That's good. That's good. It's going back. It's in, it's in. He's done it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you don't have to put it back, I'll tell you. I know you, I know you can. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan, camera six. And fantastic, really. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing, whatever you do, don't wear uh, anything. So, right, okay, now, Susie, you've seen how to do it. And, uh, no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> but I do need you here for this next thing. And this is just because we can't um, give you one for next week to solve. We're, we're going to do this. You need a, a glass, a tumbler, whatever. And I want you to rest your hand. So your elbow is on, on the table like that, all right? Mm -hmm. and, and what you do is you suspend this over your thumb. Now, we've only got a very tiny amount of time on this, so try this yourself at home. It's good for parties, stuff like that. It's got to go across the pulse of your thumb, all right? Which is quite difficult to find in a hurry, but you can do it. And you lower it in there like that so that it's not touching the side. Now, you do that, all right? Left or right hand, it doesn't matter. And you get a, a metal weight, a key, something, get it in the middle. Now, the oddity of this is that will swing as many times to bang the sides as there are hours in the hour you're doing it. So if it's five past seven, it'll hit seven times. If it's quarter to four, it'll hit four times, that kind of thing. Now, as you watch that key, it will start to swing. Let your mind go absolutely blank, and it will go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, until it is hitting the sides of the glass. And then it will hit the sides of the glass the hours of the day. You can see it going backwards and forwards. Two, three, no, just missed. Okay, just relax, just relax, make your mind go blank. There's a tendency to try to count. You must try not to. And it goes bang, bang against the side, okay? Now, now because we've got no time, I'm going to concentrate on stop. The word stop, it will stop swinging faster than it should. Watch, stop, 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 okay? Now, that you can do at home. You really can. You didn't swing it, you know? No? no? no. Just really from our audience and try it at home. And if you just stay with it, stay blank, it will bang on the sides the number of hours. Okay? Don't write and tell me. I know it works. <laughs>
If there are magicians on other planets, they will probably do magic like this. Mm -hmm. 